The engines on the island of Soda look forward to Halloween. They love certificates, fireworks, and the children dressing up as wizards and witches. They also love Edward's spooky stories. They say that on Halloween, the ghost engine returns to the smelters looking for his lost whistle. Later, Stop and Hat arrived. Thomas, Percy, and Duck, I have a last minute job for you. You are to collect some scrap from the smelter's yard tonight and bring it to the docks. On Halloween? Don't worry, you'll be back in time for the fireworks. Percy isn't worried about missing the fireworks. <laughs> He's a scaredy engine. I am not. But he was a little. At the smelters, all Percy could think about was Edward's ghost. This new person was scared, so he teased him even more. What's that up there? Is it a spook? It's just a piece of twisted scrap, isn't it? Thomas was having fun, kept on teasing Percy. Careful, the ghost engine doesn't get you! There's no such thing as a ghost. Duck felt sorry for Percy. Nobody's brave all the time. But I'm not a scaredy engine. The job was nearly complete. Well done. I'll need one engine to finish up. Duck wanted to pay Thomas back for all his teasing. Please, sir. I'm sure Thomas wouldn't mind staying. Of course not. I'm not a scaredy engine. So Duck and Percy left. When Thomas was by himself, every sound and every shadow was spooked. He was beginning to feel very scared. There's no such thing as ghosts! Th Who's there?! Thomas was so busy looking for ghosts, he didn't watch where he was going. Chains felt like skeleton things. Something stabbed me! Swish and stop the things. Thomas was back at Timothy Shed's all alone in the very back, regretting ever teasing Percy about ghost engines. I think Thomas has learned his lesson. Oh, that's not so scary.